Hello everybody, welcome back to another Nerdy Draws. Uh, this episode is a little bit special, well, sort of, uh, not really. Um, I've drawn my OCs before, but Punch and Skittles, uh, formerly, um, oh my god, I forgot her old name, I can't believe myself, Turquoise Tea, yeah, previously Turquoise Tea, but now Punch and Skittles, uh, she basically said, I challenge you to draw your OCs and talk about them, because she did that, um, and you guys should go check out her video because she's got some really cool OCs. So, I decided, you know what? What the hell? Why not? I'm gonna do it. I almost like full-on cussed right there. I almost said the F word. Sorry, mom. Sorry, dad. <laughs> they don't watch my videos, I think. Anyways, um, anyways, point is, uh, so I'm drawing my OCs here, and I actually had a lot of fun with this. This was like a real chill time for me, and it took me a really long time. Like, I was drawing from, uh, like 9 o'clock to 3 in the morning. And that's a really long time, but I was having a lot of fun with it. I ended up changing their designs quite a bit. Um, the designs that you see here, they're actually changed significantly from what I usually draw them as because I was drawing them and I was like, well, these are a little bit too anime and uh, maybe I should change that. I think they're still anime now, but at least they're like more coherent hairstyles, something that's more realistic. Uh, Kaija's especially, I really liked the way hers came out. You'll see her, this isn't Kaija, this is uh, Kalia. Uh, I like the way hers came out because it seemed a lot more flowy than her old design, which was all pointy and staticky, which isn't her character anymore. The way it used to be was uh, like that, but not anymore. So uh, just some backstory before I start talking. Ooh, I got a message. Um, it's just some backstory before I start talking about these characters. Um, so basically this story is set in the year 20... 2100 i think i'm pretty sure how do i not know that about my own world i just know uh kalia was born in 2080 and um she's oh yeah so it's close to the year uh 2100 it's uh because she's she's 18 and she was born in 2084 um so that's uh that's it's set in the future and it's kind of a grim looking future um well sort of there's a lot of technology there um, the world is kind of declining in terms of environment, but you know, there's some pretty cool technology and that's pretty nice. I guess that sort of distracts from it. Um, I'm still in the works of coming up with all the technology that she's going to have, but I already started the first page and so I, uh, I can come up with it as I go probably. Um, but okay, so that was the story. Uh, so she works at a plant farm, Kaija works at this like VR store, and the two boys at the bottom that you'll see, Honey and Hisashi, they still go to high school, so they're, uh, they're not uh, working yet. Um, also, the, the world is really, really hot in, this, in their world. Uh, it's warmer than normal, like uh, the average is about 80 and it goes up from there. So a lot of the times what you'll see in there is them wearing, wearing either really flowy clothes or really um, like tank tops and crop tops and shorts. Even the guys, the guys wear a lot of shorts and some wear short shorts. I'm still deciding if I should do that because I know uh, short shorts don't exactly look good on guys when I draw them. So I should, uh, I should work on that. But I don't want to give too much away with fear of spoiling the story. So I can't really talk about the villain. I can't really talk about any of the other characters because they don't come on till later. Um, this is, by the way, just like part of it. I'm probably gonna do another one where I draw the other four characters because these are just the four main characters. I have other characters in development, but um, that's uh, those characters are sort of second, ugh, sort of secondary, but they're still important to the plot. Um, so yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Also, there's these things in her world that you can use that um and i i don't know if i'm gonna change this yet but uh you can plug it into your head and they give you information uh so basically you can learn whatever you want think of it like matrix when they like put him under and he learns like crap taekwondo i think it was taekwondo don't crucify me for messing that up i'm not sure uh anyways okay so talking about the characters the top crap what's left what's right Top left, the one with the flowy long hair, that's Kalia. I've drawn her a few times before, so you guys probably know that. Uh, her full name is Kalia Palakiko. I don't have a middle name for her. I um, I'm just, I think I decided in the future world that they wouldn't really use a whole lot of middle names. They kind of just become outdated. So it's Kalia Palakiko. 
the one below her is her brother, but I'll get to that later. So basically, um, she was born to her mother. I can't believe I forgot her mother's name. I'm so bad at names, even with my own characters. Um, so she lived with her mo uh, mom and dad when she was younger in Hawaii, and she had a... Uh, she her family owned a store but because of the environment they had to leave hawaii because uh the environment eventually became really really bad and so they ended up moving to oregon and they have a town i also oh beaver town i think it's beaver town i'm probably wrong but they did move to oregon with um with her aunt and her aunt wasn't the nicest person her aunt had two kids who uh probably hated uh, their mother just as much as kalia hated their mother so um, when, uh, they, when they lived there, you know, it wasn't good, um, and I'm not gonna say anything else about that, because then it would just be spoilers, um, and then after, after a while, Kalia, she leaves the house, and she ends up living with Kaija, which is where the present day story is set, she, uh, she has an apartment with Kaija, they, you know, they work the jobs that supports the fact that they own an apartment, um, and so, let's see, other important details about her. Let's see, she's afraid of the dark, she loves to read, she loves bugs and animals and um, things in general, like she's really not afraid of any bugs, uh, which <laughs> I wish I was her, I wish I wasn't so afraid of bugs, but yeah, she, she likes bugs. Um, she's basically the mom friend of everybody, so she, uh, she takes care of them, sort of, and she doesn't have all the skills so obviously the other people have to do stuff but she she tries her best to take care of them and she's very defensive of them she is the main character of the story kalia palikiko i don't know why i said that a second time but anyways yeah that's uh that's her okay so the one i'm drawing now is her little brother that's hani he is about i want to say four years younger than kalia he uh also lived with them when their aunt and um Instead of staying there, he went to live with the guy that I'm drawing right now. This, uh, that's he, um, that's Hisashi. I like to call him Sushi though, cause it's just easier. And so does he. Um, ooh, I heard a noise. Guess! Oh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> that was loud though. Oh, I hope the microphone didn't catch that. And I hope nobody is listening to me talk. Ugh. Doesn't matter. Anyways, um, so the one I'm drawing now, they live together. Um, they've been best friends since they were younger. Also, uh, Kalia's been best friends with uh, Hisashi since they were younger. They, they've all been really good friends. Kaija sort of comes along around their middle school ages. These guys have been together since they were like in uh, late elementary school. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, Kalia takes after a lot after her mother, by the way. Uh, the hair, in, in terms of the hair and the eyes and, um, Kaija and Hani both look more like their mom in terms of facial features, but uh, Hani had his dad's hair, which was like, it was like a really light brown, and then he dyed it, so now it's like white. Very, very white. Um, anyways, where was I? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Hisashi, he has ADHD. He's uh, very loud, but he enjoys reading, and he, uh, Hani enjoys that too because they like they like hang out together, and Hani likes to listen to his stories. Um, so they they hang out a lot, and um, Hisashi's parents are there, but not there. It's hard to explain. It's kind of a stereotypical thing where the parents aren't really around. But he was closer to his grandma than he was to his parents. Now this is um, this is Kaija, the one that I'm coloring in right now. That one's Kaija. This one I actually based off of my best friend Kylie and my boyfriend Francisco. Oh no, I probably shouldn't have said those names out loud. Anyways, um, so uh, basically, um, she she's really calm. She's kind of quiet. She enjoys. Um, game that's why she works at the vr place she can fall asleep anywhere in any position uh she's fallen asleep a couple times at work but she's a good worker so her her boss just like stopped caring after a while he's like well i don't like you to fall asleep on the job but if there's nobody here then i guess oh well um so yeah she she falls asleep anywhere she's got anxiety and she uh she is sporty and kind of athletic 
but not a whole lot. I think, I don't think any of them are. Actually, no, her and um, Hisashi are the one at the bottom. Um, they're kind of sporty, and she's really, really smart, but she doesn't really like to read. She gets most of her information from technology and stuff. She's she's uh, more of the technological whiz than any of them, um, especially Kalia. She's not very good with technology. That's why she prefers older technology because you know that's what she's used to she's like she's like the mom that's like what is that a nintendo when they see an xbox so um I, that's how i would describe her character oh i think i'm coming near the end of the video no i'm still coloring honey you like come on let's not do that um her parents are really expectant of her and this can actually lead to her like overworking herself and that's part of the reason she left is because Kalia realized this and was like hey man you can't do that that's uh that's not good for you so what happened with her is she she moved out because her parents got like super expectant of her and so she left and she during the story she describes it as like a breath of fresh air she doesn't really talk to her family after that they kind of just become real secondary in her life but um she's part of part of the problems that she has with her anxiety and stuff it comes from her parents and they're just high expectancy but she's learning to get rid of that and she's getting better this is honey that's hisashi oh i drew their collarbones so i hope you guys enjoyed this speed paint guys and me rambling about my ocs if you guys want to see me draw something else leave it down in the comment section below bye guys